Want to speed up learning vocabulary in Portuguese? Well, what if I told you there are a ton of words that you use in English that you can use in Portugal as well? The trick is you need to pronounce these words still with a Portuguese accent. So you need to be able to look at a word and know how a Portuguese person would pronounce those same letters, which will be quite different to English. So you know I have a pronunciation guide down in the description that you can download. And in today's very quick fire lesson, I'm going to give you 16 words that you use in English that you can use in Portugal too. So a couple of adjectives to describe things. The first one I use all the time and it's very simply OK. So we're not going to pronounce it OK like we would do in English. We want an O, a nice open O and a K. Now K doesn't actually exist uh, in the alphabet for native Portuguese words. We call it Kappa and this is why my neighbour actually spells it in a really funny way. She spells it like this. Okay. Now, I want you to look out for this because there are lots and lots of words that will also have a different spelling in Portuguese so that we can get that same sound. Another really great example is rugby. So the next one comes from French, but we actually say in English too, chic. I use this a lot when I, when I mean fancy, when I'm like, ooh, how fancy and elegant. So I might say, hmm, que chic. It's a nice compliment. The next words all begin with the word check, but remember in Portuguese, if we want to say a CH, it has to have a SH sound. So these will be check in, check out, check up. Now I want you to maintain your Portuguese pronunciation when you're saying the word in with a more pronounced E sound, in, out, a much more softer T and up. It's always the vowels where you're going to want to make the biggest change. So don't just go ahead and say them like you would in English. Try and maintain this Portuguese pronunciation. Of course, many of the words that we associate with the world of the internet are also going to be borrowed from English as well. So for example, internet, download, online, offline, password, email. Now, the trick to make these sound Portuguese is keeping your D's and your T's really soft. There isn't quite the same D and T that's hard like we have in English. Listen again. Password. Download. My tongue is much closer to my teeth when I'm doing this, which gives it a softer sound. Another tip is to make sure that your L's are happening further back in your throat. So for example, we say email and the l, -l, 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 -l sound again is really far forward in my mouth. But when the Portuguese say L's, it's kind of happening back here. We call it a dark L and it sounds more like this. Oh, oh. So instead of la 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 here at the front, it's all at the back. So listen again, email. You can feel it if you say it, your tongue is further back. Quite a few modern jobs also borrow from English as well. So maybe you are an instructor de fitness, or you work in design or even marketing. If you are the manager, Hopefully it doesn't cause you too much stress. There are tons and tons of these. If you know other ones, let me know in the comments which they are, what you have noticed that is very similar to English, but pronounced differently. I want you to have a go at saying these words, not just the way that you would say them, but using that Portuguese pronunciation and let me know how you get on. I'll be back next week for more tips and tutorials to power up your Portuguese. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a thing.